So tell me why I forgot to film an intro for this video and it is now super late. This makeup has been on all day. I've been out all day with a mask on. So if it looks a little worn, that's why, okay? Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you're new what up so today as you guys can see this is going to be my body care routine basically me sharing with you guys my tips and tricks on how I get my fragrance to last longer project further and just smell good all day long I'm gonna be telling you guys and showing you guys exactly how I do it this is what I do all of the time i've done it with so many fragrances and i know that it actually works like i said it's late and i'm filming this video and i can literally still smell my fragrance on me that i put on way earlier today when i actually filmed this video i can still smell myself so i'm telling you guys that these techniques do work this is what works for my skin type like i said in the video you just have to find what works for your skin type and i promise you once you find what works for you you're gonna love it okay so just get Give some things to try experiment a little bit test it out you have nothing to lose so if you guys are interested in seeing how i do my body care routine and what i do to get my fragrance last longer all of my tips and tricks then just keep on watching all right you guys so to get started i am fresh out of the shower i'm actually getting ready to go somewhere today so i want it to be as realistic as possible to show you guys exactly how i do my body care routine of course without being too revealing because i literally put these products over my whole entire body so that means chest back abdomen butt legs feet everything so without showing you guys every little detail i'm gonna do my best to describe and tell you guys what i do this lip mask so i'm fresh out of the shower and today i decided to go in with my jergens weightless wet skin moisturizer so this is a heaven scent product you basically put this on your skin while it's still wet directly after the shower and it gives you like this really nice glow to your skin it moisturizes so heavily all you do is rub it in and then you pat dry with a towel and this can actually replace your actual lotion if you wanted to or if you're excessive like me you're still gonna put on body lotion after this but this is a great product to use to actually moisturize your skin because damp skin and wet skin absorbs um, products better and this is oil infused so it's really going to moisturize your skin and give you a nice glow so that's what I went in with but um, you can also use different products I have three different things here to show you guys how I moisturize my skin and it just depends on how I'm feeling that day what I'm gonna go in with so this is the Neutrogena body oil this is the light sesame formula I've been using this for forever this has been around for years this is actually a new bottle because I had to repurchase it I usually mix this in with my bath and body works body lotions or the shower gels it just depends um, but basically this is a lightweight body oil you only need a little bit of this to apply to your skin again while it's damp so if you don't want to use a lotion or you feel like you need something a little bit heavier go in with a body oil this is really going to seal that moisture into your skin and again, if you're like me, if you have Bath & Body Works lotions and you feel like they aren't as hydrating, if you go in with this first and then put the body lotion on top, your skin will be super moisturized. So it's all up to you on what formula you want to use. I also have the Nivea Original Daily Moisture um lotion this one is for normal to dry skin they also have one for dry to very dry skin but this is a really nice lotion to use it has a very light scent so it's not going to interfere with your fragrant lotions that you put on but again this is a really good one to just use fresh out of the shower while your skin is still damp you want to put on a lotion that's actually going to moisturize your skin before you go in with your fragrance lotions. So I use all of these products interchangeably just depending on how I'm feeling that day. Today I just decided to go in with my wet skin moisturizer. So just pick a product that you feel is going to thoroughly moisturize your skin and it also is dependent on what kind of climate you live in. So I live in Arizona. It's super dry here plus it's winter time. We got the heat going like 24 7 so 
you have to use products that are going to thoroughly moisturize your skin based off the climate that you live in so now we're about to get into the fun the actual tips and tricks girl so get your petroleum jelly this is vaseline it doesn't matter which petroleum jelly you use but you're gonna want to get your petroleum jelly and girl you're gonna want to apply it to all of the hot spots on your body so as you guys can see i'm applying it to the neck behind my ears because this is a post point so you want to rub that in really good um you want to apply it to your wrist as well but i always leave my wrist for last just because when i'm doing my makeup and everything i am rubbing my wrist against stuff i'm also washing my hands while doing my makeup so I don't put it on my wrist until I'm about to leave out of the house just so that it can stay on in that area longer. Um, but you want to apply it to all of your post points. I'm applying it to the insides of my elbows. I'm also going to apply it to my chest and in between my boob area because that area gets nice and warm and it's a great place to hold fragrance. You also want to apply it to the back of your knees and your ankles. I know some people feel like that's excessive and extreme. Like, why would you apply it there? But I'm telling y'all, when you walk past people, depending on what you're wearing, those are really good places to go ahead and apply Vaseline as well. And then also, I'm one of those people... Um, my abdomen area warms up pretty quickly sometimes when my body temperature rises so I also go ahead and apply my petroleum jelly to my abdomen area um, to hold scent there as well. Okay so now after applying my Vaseline that's when I will go in with whatever fragrance lotion I'm going to be using for that day. Now the reason why I put the Vaseline on first is because the fragrance from the lotion is going to stick to the Vaseline. Okay so stay with me now stay with me. So you put the Vaseline on so the fragrance from the lotion can stick to your skin and this is where it's about to get excessive okay. Then while the lotion, like before the lotion dries on your skin, you want to go in with whatever body spray you're going to use and you want to work one body limb at a time. So I'm going to show y'all, I'm going to show y'all exactly how I do it. So you're going to want to take your lotion and you're going to want to rub it in, apply it all over your skin. You want to get it in there. It smells really nice. And right before that lotion is thoroughly absorbed into your skin, you want to take whatever body mist you're going to use and you're going to want to spray it onto that wet lotion, okay? And you're going to want to focus it on the spot where you put the Vaseline. Like, you see how my arm is running? I don't know if you guys can see. My arm is running with the fragrance, okay? And you want to just let it dry. And like I said, you want to work one arm at a time. So, the reason for this the scent from the lotion is going to stick to the Vaseline. The scent from the body spray is going to stick to the wet lotion. Y'all get where I'm going with this? So these products are going to stay on your skin because they have a barrier to stick to. You're not just putting it on your actual skin because we know fragrance evaporates off of your actual skin. But if you're putting down a barrier, the barrier is going to help the fragrance stay longer and smell and last longer. Okay, so once again, just in case, you know, y'all need another demonstration, you're going to want to take the lotion, apply it, apply it, apply it. You're going to want to rub it in really good. Once again, before it's thoroughly absorbed into the skin, you're going to want to spray And it can be a little tricky because your hands are kind of greasy, but girl, y'all will figure it out, okay? Once again, my arm is wet. You want to spray and go ahead and let that dry. And I don't know if you guys can see how shiny my skin looks. That's from the Vaseline. That's from the layer of Vaseline. And that's also from the body lotion. Like, you just want to let this dry. And you may need to walk around your house to kind of get away from the scent cloud. Because like I said, this is a little excessive. Um, you are spraying a lot, but I'm telling you guys, this is what works. So again, without showing y'all too much, I'm going to go ahead and lotion my chest, my shoulders. Um, I do lotion my back as well. I lotion my entire body, you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and hit this area, lotion everything down, kind of wipe my hands off a little bit so they aren't slipping. And then we're going to go ahead 
Remember to get behind your ear because you did put the Vaseline right there. We didn't put any lotion back there because it's not necessary. But again, spray until your body is dripping wet, okay? I'm gonna spray inside my boobs where that area gets warm and just let it dry. And you're gonna do that to your whole entire body. All right, you guys, so now that all of that is done, I know you can smell yourself. You are so fragrant. You smell good, okay? But you don't have to stop there. So you guys see my hair is long, free flowing and everything like that. Girl, go ahead and do a once over on this hair so that my hair can smell like whatever it is that I'm wearing. So now, I don't have on my clothes or anything right now. This is typically when I'll just sit here, let my body marinate in the scent. I'll do my makeup and everything. But um, before I start doing that, I wanna show you guys how I spray my clothes. So this is the outfit that I'm gonna be wearing today. I'm gonna be wearing a nice little crop sweater. This is going to be perfect to hold scent just because of the material that it is. And then I'm also gonna be wearing these mom jeans from um, where are these from? Fashion Nova? No, pretty little thing. So I'm gonna be wearing these jeans. So again, you wanna take your fragrance, you guys. You want to spray your clothing until she is damp, okay? I know y'all are like, this seems so excessive, but I'm telling you, if you want your fragrance to last all day, baby, you gotta take some, some measures, okay? Cause this is a body spray we're talking about. This is not a perfume. And yes, I do have some body sprays and things that last longer than others but i wouldn't say that they last all day when i take these extreme precautions that's when they last all day okay so again you're going to want to spray i'm going to spray inside of my jeans because this is where my body is going to be this is where the friction is going to be this is where you know my skin is going to be rubbing the material so you just want to spray your clothes down with that same spray before you go ahead and put them on you know what i'm saying and you can do as little or as much as you like. Now, if you're going to be pairing a perfume with this body set or whatever, I like to pair Flower Bomb with the Velvet Petals spray. If you're gonna be pairing a perfume with this, because you did so much with the body spray, I do recommend just going in very lightly with the perfume. Do maybe some sprays behind your ear on your neck and then on your chest area. And that's probably all you're going to need for everything to last all day just because you did a lot with the, the fragrance lotion and the body spray. So you don't have to do a whole lot with the actual perfume. Now. Before I wrap up this video, I wanna go ahead and let you guys know, I don't know when it became such a negative thing in the fragrance community to reapply or touch up your fragrance. I don't see that as a negative. And here's why. Like I said, with this technique, my fragrance usually lasts all day. Like I can smell it on myself all day. Other people can smell it on me all day. So it's not an issue, but I still reapply. And the only reason why I reapply is because one, during lunchtime, I'm gonna eat and sometimes what I eat contains onions it contains peppers it might have been cooked on a grill where there was a lot of smoke and so you know fragrances from foods can also sit on your body they can sit on your clothes they can sit in your car if you pick up the food and put it in your car those fragrances from those foods can sit and I don't want to smell like my body spray and my perfume and food I just want to smell like my perfume so I touch up or reapply my fragrance after I eat lunch that doesn't mean that I can't smell my perfume anymore or that it's worn off or anything like that. It's just I want to touch it up and I want to reapply so that it's still just as strong when I put it on in the morning after I eat my food and everything. I don't want anything interfering with my scent. Or if you've been outside in the hot sun all day, you know that smell of being outside, nobody wants to smell like that. So again, I'll touch up or I'll reapply my fragrance so that I don't smell like a mixture of my body spray and perfume and then outside or, or sweat if I've been out here sweating a lot, you know what I'm saying? So reapplication and touching up is not a bad thing. Also, just remember that sometimes you can go nose blind to your fragrance. You might not be able to smell it, but if you ask someone, hey, can you smell me? I'm gonna walk by you, tell me if you can smell me. I'm gonna sit down by you, tell me if you can smell me. You know, it's as simple as asking somebody, can they still smell your scent? And if they say yes, then it's just that you've gone nose blind to it. You can't smell it anymore, but other people definitely can. So always keep that in mind as well. There's nothing wrong with taking your body spray with you to touch up during the day. I just want to make that known. 
I only touch up one time with this technique that I've been doing. I've tried it with a bunch of different scents. I'm still testing it out with more and more and more scents to make sure that this actually works with all scents. But for the most part, for everything that I've tried so far, this technique definitely works. You can smell yourself all day. So that is all I have for you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and do my makeup and I'll come back to close out this video. All right, you guys, so I'm done getting ready. I've put my makeup on and my clothes, jewelry and all of that. So typically this is when I will go ahead and apply my perfume if I'm wearing a perfume for that day. Today I'm gonna be wearing Flower Bomb because I do feel like it complements that Victoria's Secret fragrance. So I'm just going to apply a little bit again behind my neck and then I'm also going to apply it a little bit inside of my chest area and I'm gonna press it into my clothes right here I'm just gonna pat a little bit to let it dry and then like I told you guys now is when I would apply the Vaseline to my wrist since I'm done doing everything and then I would spray the body spray on my wrist and then apply a little bit of the perfume you know just to reinforce my scent that is basically everything you guys that is the gist of how you get your fragrance to last all day definitely the key point is to remember here is to moisturize your skin you have to thoroughly moisturize your skin or the fragrance just isn't going to last the fragrance isn't going to hold on to your skin so find out what works for you you may can't just use a regular body lotion you may have to use a body oil or a body butter or something like that just find what works for your skin and moisturize it nicely also remember that body sprays are not perfumes you can go as crazy and as ham with those as you want because they will slowly start to evaporate off of the skin faster than a perfume would or a um, perfume oil would so just go ahead and like go ham with those when you're applying it to your body and then also don't forget that reapplication is not a bad Thing at all so that's it you guys those are all of my tips and tricks on how I get my fragrance to last all day on my skin that is it so if you like this video go ahead and give it a big thumbs up and leave me a comment down below letting me know that you enjoyed it also if you have any video suggestions leave those in the comments as well if you are new definitely hit that subscribe button as well as the bell notification so that you can be notified every single time that I upload a video and I'll see you guys in the next one peace